if you are just getting started as a virtual assistant, you might be wondering whether you have the right tools, the right hardware to perform your work as a virtual assistant. And that is why in this video, I'm going to show you all the tools, all the hardware I use in my daily work as a virtual assistant. I'm going to show you what I use now and compare it to what I have and what I used when I started my virtual assistant career. And finally, I am going to share with you what is the minimum hardware requirement to start working as a virtual assistant. The very first thing you need is obviously a computer. I don't think you can start a virtual assistant with your smartphone. You can start some freelancing services with your smartphone, but virtual assistants, you need a computer. And what type of computer do you need? Well, personally, right now I have high two capacity computers. I have this one in front of me and I have another one right there on my desk. And each one has two terabyte of external storage and 20 or 25 gigabyte of RAM. So each one is high capacity computer. That is what I use now. But what did I have when I got started? Well, when I started in 2019, I started as a freelancer, WordPress web designer. And the computer I used, I bought it 25,000 Naira or 30,000 Naira. It wasn't new, obviously. And it was very small. It ran on Windows 8. And I cannot open more than two tabs in a browser. If I open more than two tabs, the computer will start to slow down. So obviously, it is way too small with very little capacity. And I use it as a freelance WordPress web designer for about one year. Until I made enough money, I decided to become a virtual assistant. And then I bought another computer at 110,000 Naira. That was around 2020, around 2020 to 2021. I bought the HP computer brand new at 110,000 Naira. It wasn't big, obviously. It was bigger than the one I was using. The one I was using, it was Lenovo, but I bought a HP brand new computer. So obviously it was a, it's an upgrade, but it wasn't really that big. And I used that computer to start virtual assistance from freelancing to virtual assistance. So the point is the computer that you need to start a virtual assistance is the computer you currently have or the computer you can afford. If you have a computer right now, no matter how small it is, you can manage to start a virtual assistance with it. If you need a bigger computer, when you make enough money from virtual assistant business, then you can buy a bigger computer. And if you don't have a computer right now, what type of computer can you afford? That is all that matters. You can buy the type of computer that you can afford right now. When you start working with it, if it is, if it doesn't have the right capacity, after you make some money as a virtual assistant, then you can buy a bigger computer. But don't wait until you have a high capacity computer to start virtual assistance. Okay, the next thing you need is, again, obviously, an internet connection. You need a means of internet connection. You, you can use a modem to start working as a virtual assistant, but using a modem that you stick a SIM card into it, it's really not that efficient. If that is all you have, then you can simply use that. When I started, I started with a modem. The internet was really bad. So instead of continue using a modem, I found it even faster to use my smartphone. I open a hotspot on my mobile phone and I connect it to my computer. That was even faster than using a modem, internet modem. So if you can afford the best thing, what I use right now, I use internet router and MiFi. I use both Airtel and MTN router and also both Airtel and MTN MiFi so that when I don't have internet in one, I will have an internet in another one. I use this MiFi and this internet router. I have both one for MTN and Airtel and this one I have also both for MTN and Airtel. So can you afford one? I think I bought this one at around 9,000 Naira and I bought this one at around 30,000 Naira. So if you can afford this one, it is going to be way better than using a modem or your mobile phone hotspot. And if you can afford this one, that is even better. But if you cannot afford any one of those, don't let it stop you. You can simply use what you have. If you have a modem, if that is what you can use, simply go ahead and use a modem. If you don't have a modem, you can open your mobile phone hotspot and connect it to your computer to start working. Okay, the next thing I use in my virtual assistant work is a webcam. Right now, I use this webcam. I bought it in a local store, this webcam, but I know it is on Amazon. I think when I bought this webcam, I bought it at around 20,000 Naira. 
But when I started, I didn't have this webcam. When I started, I used my mobile phone to join meetings. When you work as a virtual assistant, you are going to have meetings with client. And so that is why if you have a webcam or if you can afford a webcam, that is going to be a good thing. But if you don't have a webcam and you cannot afford a webcam, you can simply use your mobile phone. When I started, I used my mobile phone for all the meetings. All the meetings I do, I use my mobile phone. The reason why you might need a webcam is if you are meeting with client, sometimes you will need to share your screen and show your potential client something or you work together using sharing screen. If you are joining the meeting with your mobile phone, then you cannot share your computer screen for everyone to see. But what I did was I used my mobile phone to join meeting. But when I want to share my screen, then I join the meeting again with my computer. And I will not turn on my camera on my computer. So everyone will see me with my mobile phone camera and hear me with my mobile phone. But they will see my screen from my computer. Now, that is not the most efficient way, really. And so that is why if you can afford a webcam, it is going to be better. But if you don't have a webcam and you cannot afford a webcam, you can simply use your mobile phone to join all your meetings. Besides, there are apps now that will allow you to use your mobile phone camera as a webcam in your computer. Okay, the next thing I use is a light. I use a source of light for meetings. I am working with clients from different countries, mostly from USA, and our time zones are way different. Sometimes I have a meeting at 12 in the night. Sometimes I have a meeting at 1 a.m. with client, and it is really dark in, in the middle of the night. And even if I have enough light, even if I, my globes are turned off, it's not really enough to show me clearly in the middle of the night. And so that is why I have a ring light that has a battery that is connected to battery. I simply charge the batteries of my, my ring light. And when I want to join a meeting, I connect the batteries. I turn it on so that there is enough light for client, for everyone to see me in the meeting. And I connect, I join the meeting. But what do you really need a ring light or something like that? The answer is no. If you can afford a ring light, even a small one for your meetings, that is going to be good because it will be great if everyone can see you clearly. But if you cannot avoid a ring light, you can simply find any kind of source of light. You can turn on a light. You can buy even a small lamp that you can put it in front of you in a way that people are not going to see the light, but it will light you enough so that everyone can see you. When I started, obviously I don't have any ring light. So I use a rechargeable lamp I have two rechargeable lamps that we normally use in our in my house and I take one put it in this side the other one in this side so that there are enough light coming from two sides and that lights me enough for everyone to see me in the meeting. Okay the next thing I use as a virtual assistant is a headphone. I use headphone to join meetings. You can use wide head wide earpiece to join meetings but sometimes wide earpiece doesn't have the best quality, doesn't have the best sound quality. You can hear everyone using the wide earpiece, but people might have a hard time hearing you, depending on the type of wide earpiece you are using. And that is why instead of using a wide earpiece, it might be a good idea to have a good, reliable headphone that you can use to join meetings and communicate with client. What I use right now to join all my meetings is this thing right here. This is what I use. I just put it in my ear. It's this side like this. And I join all my meetings like that. But yeah, this is great. I can hear everyone and everyone can hear me very clearly. But do you need this when you just get started? Obviously, no. When I started, I didn't have this. When I started, I used wide earpiece. And I had trouble with it. People were not hearing me very clearly. So I get a headphone. I had a headphone, one red big headphone that I used to listen to music and I tried to join a meeting with it and it turns out to be great for meetings. So I continued, I continued to use that big head, headphone to join all my meetings with clients until I have enough money to buy this little boy right here. And I, I think I bought this boy like five times. When I'm trying to put it on my ear, sometimes I break it. I break here, and when I break it, I just buy a new one. 
And so this is what I use mostly for all my meetings with clients. And I think this one is like 5,000 Naira. I think I bought it, this last one, I think I bought it at around 5,000 Naira. And I can charge it. It is charged will last for all your meetings. I never run out of charge. So I don't even know how long it is charge will last. But I have meetings for up to one hour. And I never run out of charge. So if you can afford to buy like 5,000 Naira to buy something like this, it will be good for your meetings. You can hear everyone clearly and everyone can hear you clearly. And you will look nice. You will look more nice than using a wired earpiece. But if you cannot afford this and you don't have any headphone, then you can simply use your wired earpiece. If people cannot hear you, then you can simply buy a better wired earpiece until you can buy, until you can afford to buy a good headphone that you can join all your meetings with. Okay, so these are all the hardware that I use as a virtual assistant, but that is not all. In addition to having the right hardware, you are also going to need the right software to work as a virtual assistant. And you can watch this next video to learn about the best software that you need to start working as a virtual assistant. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.